Are your biceps or triceps taking a beating? This little beauty might be exactly what the doctor ordered. It's the latest version of our upper arm sleeve covers made by Sanov for PSA and police canine training. Quality bite suit can absorb a lot of normal punishment for a long time. Normal punishment though usually has the bites spread over a large part of the suit. Some of the uses of bite suits though tend to put a lot of the biting in the same place. For instance, in PSA a lot of the bites are given KNPV style into the left bicep and uh, for police dogs a lot of the dogs that started off their, their biting maybe in a IPO club or something like that in Europe. Um, there are forearm biters. Police decoys tend to do a kind of an arm through spin maneuver that tends to take the dog upward toward the center of mass, but normally ends up having a lot of the bites land right in the tricep area. So just like the uh, PSA decoys tend to get their suits beaten up real bad in the left bicep, the police canine decoys tend to get their suits beaten up real bad in the tricep. And usually I've noticed a lot of these p uh, police decoys tend to prefer one arm over the other, so that one side tends to get beaten up really quickly. And uh, it's not exactly uncommon to see that there are holes in the tricep of a police decoy's bite suit. To counter the abuse of the lower canines raking across the seam on the inner arm, I've worked with Sanov to implement some additional stitching procedures and to kind of change around the seam a little bit on the inner arms and inner legs. There's really only so much you can do with a seam though to make the seam stronger, so PSA aficionados Jonathan Katz and Dave Papalardo suggested that we do a cover for the upper arms of a bite suit so that the cover could act as a sacrificial layer. Here we have an example of a PSA cover on a sleeve of a suit and you'll notice that it's a distinctly different color from the sleeve of the suit so that everybody can really easily visualize exactly what the sleeve cover is. Some people do this for a different purpose though. They actually do it for training because they want to highlight the targeting area for the dog. Okay, I'm just going to give you a little idea of how easy it is to remove one of these covers. So I'm just going to show you that process real quickly here. Ideally you want to get some nice little snippers from a sewing store or a seam ripper. A seam ripper is kind of shaped like a fork and it's got one side that's real pointy and the other side that's not. And then it's sharp back in here so you can stick it under a stitch and cut it. But I like these snippers too because basically with these snippers you can just kind of pull on the threads a little bit, snip them, and move on. And you don't have to snip them all because you can start, once you get them loose, then you can kind of get a couple of them going. Snip those. You can do it with scissors too if you've got some pointy-ended scissors. And off comes your sleeve cover. Just that simple. And just pull out your threads. Get ready to slide the next one on. And so we're on. You're good to go again. Okay, so for the purpose of illustration, I'm using some white thread and a curved needle that an upholsterer would use and I am simply stitching this sleeve cover on to the outer material of the suit and uh, it doesn't have to be done perfectly all it has to be is functional the stitches should be about one finger width apart to it. Just do it like that around the top and bottom of the cover and you're good to go. It's a little bit of work but not too bad. Now when you get a set of these covers or you get a suit from ringsuits.com that has these covers on it from Sanov, Sanov will maintain your actual pattern for your covers uh, back at the shop in Belgium so that when your covers wear out they can send over more and they will be the exact same as the ones that come off so we can keep renewing your suit over and over again one thing i want to show you about these covers though um, initially they started off with uh, simply two layers of very very thin material quilted to the inside of the cover 
just to give the outer material some structure because this suit material is very strong, but it if you just had a, an expanse of it like this without any quilting in it, it would be kind of floppy. So basically that quilting, to have that padding quilted into it, gives the outer material some structure. It works a little bit like an exoskeleton, even when you have one of the ones that's not highly padded, but mainly it's just to protect the suit. It's not so much to protect the decoy's arm. This one, on the other hand, has what's called 1200 gram high structure padding. It's about six millimeters thick and um, it actually provides some additional protection for the decoy. This is the latest and greatest thing to help out guys who are just getting beat up too much in their biceps or triceps and maybe they don't feel like putting on too much extra protection on their arm underneath their suit. They can go to something like this. Um, it doesn't appear that it's going to be all that bulky on the outside of your suit to give you uh, Popeye arms or whatever but um, it, it should give you a significant amount of additional protection by creating that exoskeleton layer, having a, a layer of fairly stiff padding on the outside of the sleeve to really distribute the pressure of the dog's teeth when they bite. Um, additionally, one other thing I wanted to show is that uh, the seam of these sleeve covers now has a layer of nylon webbing across the seam and sewn multiple times down the length of that seam to really give that seam some strength. And uh, these babies are lasting very well now. Even with those teeth constantly raking across that seam, they really hold up. So this is the latest and greatest in upper arm sleeve covers for PSA and police canine decoys from ringsuits.com and sanov.us. I'm Pat Peterson. I'd love to talk to you about setting you up with a suit equipped with these if that's what suits your needs. You can look us up on facebook.com slash ringsuits or give me a call directly 517-668-1224. Thank you.